What's going on, voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas? Welcome back to Logic.Band. If this is your first time here, this is a place to be if you want to get better at using Logic Pro with voiceover and get more familiar with macOS in the process. Today, Izzy G is going to walk us through how to use the vocal assistant in Nectar 4 by Isotope. If you're not familiar with Nectar, it's essentially a vocal processing plugin. Everything you need to get your vocals sounding professional. It's EQ, compression, delay, reverb, harmony, pitch correction, everything you need for your vocal. But before we get into that, I just want to remind you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and to the mailing list found at logic.band. If you want to join the logic.band members area, just hit the join button. It's now here on YouTube and you'll get extra tutorials and to join the Q&A depending on which level you sign up for. Okay, now regarding Nectar, it does require you to run Logic in Rosetta mode to use the vocal assistant. There's a link showing you how to put Logic in Rosetta mode in the description below. And he's gonna pick up the tutorial with Nectar loaded up in remote viewer editor view on the vocal track. All right, take it away. Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to use Nectar 4's vocal assistant. First and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to Native Instruments for kindly providing the software for me to demonstrate to you today. You will need to be running Logic in Rosetta mode, as in Apple Silicon mode, VoiceOver will not see these controls. Isotope are aware of this and hopefully will issue a fix soon. Full disclosure, I am running Logic 10.8 and have grabbed a few loops from the new vocal pack that was provided in this update to come up with this track. If it lyrically doesn't make any sense, that's okay. I'm going to play the audio so you guys can hear what we're working with today. Gotta keep it in drive And I know it's tragic Just wanna say you're all mine You got some nerve You got some You got some nerve You can't hide You're running circles around me every time I'm gonna go ahead and view right over to the assistant view button. Edit and unmask assistant view. Hit view space. Play audio to get started. Now I'm gonna hit space and let it listen to the audio so it can process our vocal. It has now processed the vocal and applied EQ and dynamics processing as its outfit. Because elements have changed, the voiceover cursor is at the top of the window. I'm going to go ahead and view a right arrow until I hear enable shape checkbox. To undo, read, view, edit, link, edit, enter, unmask, assist, detail, bypass, relearn, options, help, dialogue, enable shape, check. This is just a bypass button, so our real point of interest is next door. 50, shape to the right, which is the shape. And if I hit view shift H, adjust the amount of tone matching applied to your vocal. Essentially, you're just blending in how much EQ you want. Zero is off or very, very subtle, and 200 is maximum. So if I put it at 200, it sounds like this. I don't particularly like that. It's too mid-focused for me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play and then dial it back as it's going. Now I'm going to go ahead and see where we landed. 87.99983, shape. Almost halfway. To me, it sounds good there. So I'm gonna go ahead and view a right arrow. Assistant key selection. To the assistant key selection button. This button basically tells Nectar what key your project is in. And from here, you can set your vocal register as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit VO space. And again, elements have changed. So voice over cursor is at the top of the window. There's really nothing of note. Except for if we hit VO end, pitch view. there's a pitch view, so we're going to go ahead and interact with this container. In pitch view, 17 items, key. We'll see key. Close. Close. Detect. Uncheck. Detect. No key. And no key. No key is what we're looking for, so I'm going to go ahead and hit VO space. Pop-up window. This is a pop-up, so I'm looking for C sharp minor. So I'm going to go ahead and VO up arrow until I get there. B minor. F minor. E minor. D, D, D C music sharp sign minor. There we go. VO space. Ruby automatic verse. Dialog. 
C music sharp sign minor. And it pops us right back onto that button there. I'm gonna hit VO end. Medium, vocal register. To the vocal register. And there's only three options here. You have high, medium, and low. If you want to think of it in choir terms, high is where the sopranos are and the higher notes of the altos. Medium is where the low notes of the sopranos and the altos and the higher notes of the tenors are. And those where your basses and your tenors are. Please take that with a pinch of salt because I know that those registers tend to overlap each other. Use your best discretion and apply what you think fits your project. So I think she is on the higher end of the vocal registers. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to high. Vocal register high. Ruby automatic verse dialogue. Hi, vocal register. There are checkboxes in between the key and this vocal register button, and that basically allows you to bypass or enable certain notes. For instance, we are in a C sharp minor scale, and let's say that the performance has a G note in there. So she sings G. If you want to, you can enable the G. So that way, this turns into a custom scale, and you can capture that full performance with just the notes that you require. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit VO home. Key. VO right over to close. Close. VO space. I'm gonna go find that button again. And we'll go from there. Tool. Redo. View. Editor. Link. Ed. On. Assist. Fight. Reload. Option. Help. Dialog. Enable. Shape. ADC. Assistant. Key. Now, I'm going to view right arrow. 50. Intensity. Adjust the amount of dynamics processing applied to your vocal. So this is stuff like compression. At 50, we're about halfway. And it sounds pretty good here. But if I sweep it up to 100, it sounds like this. So I'm going to go ahead and bypass the dynamics processing. Uncheck. So as you can hear, there's a bit of a spike. I'm gonna go ahead and solo, play this again. With that breath there, there's that spike. So with this on, Check. you don't really hear that anymore. So this really does just level out your vocals, breaths and everything. It levels out your performance, so it's just completely all one level. There's really no dynamic involved. This sounds fine to me with this all the way at 100. So I'm going to go ahead and VO right arrow. Assistant target. To the assistant target. Targets basically tell Nectar what you want your vocal to be modeled after. You can import a processed vocal and Nectar will try its best to adjust your EQ and dynamics processing to what it hears in that reference file. You also do have characteristic targets as well. So you have singing, rapping and speaking. And because she's not rapping or speaking, I'm just going to go ahead and ignore those for the time being and take you through the singing characteristics, which is dark, balanced, bright, and airy. Do note that when we do get to bright and airy, you will lose amplitude, but it will be a lot brighter and airier. So let's go ahead and view a space on this. Kind of likes to drop us off somewhere in the middle, closer to the end of this dialogue here. So I'm just gonna go via left until I get to the close button. Speak balance, rap target, dark, singing target, close, singing target category. This is already selected, so I'm not gonna via space on this. Dark. So let's start with dark. I'm going to play the track and just go through and select different targets here. Can hear more of her breath at that point. <laughs> For the cases of this demonstration, I'm going to choose between dark or balanced so we don't lose any amplitude. If you do choose bright or airy in this situation, I recommend flipping to the details view and adjusting your input gain. So I've chosen dark once again, and we'll just kind of flip between these two and figure out what we like best. I do kind of like dark a little better. Keep it in 
she just sounds a lot fuller with the dark characteristics selected. So I'm going to go ahead and hit close. Close. And we'll go back to the assistant target button and move off from there. Assistant target. Now if we view our editor. Reverb module enable. Check. Delay module enable. Check. Dimension module enable. Check. These are all just checkboxes that enable reverb, delay, and dimension. If we view our editor from here. Voices mode toggle. We have a voices mode toggle. So if we want to enable these voices, we have to hit VO end. Enable voices. Uncheck. And enable the voices. Check. And then to the right of that, there was a blend knob. So now we have to just feel left arrow to that blend knob. And on the way, we'll see all these other controls. Creative effects enable. Check. Zero. Width. XY pad node. Unchecked. Next voices style. Unison. Voice 25. Voices blend. And then to get back to the voices, we just feel left arrow again. Previous backer mode toggle. Voices mode toggle. That's literally all the controls we're missing there. Back pre 25. Voices blend. Let's go ahead and bring this blend up a bit to exaggerate. In vertical 20. 81.90. 82. 90.99,992. These voices here, so you can hear what's happening. So this just basically adds a couple of voices on either side. Currently it's on the unison preset, so it's just the same vocal, just a little offset in timing and pitch. That's just to add some space if you want to make it seem like there's a couple other singers in there as well. Unison, next voices style. If we go to the next voices style, it should be the octaves. And then you can just blend that down to taste. And then if we go to the next voice of style, it's thirds. To make it seem like there's some harmonies there. If we go to the next voice of style, it should be parallel. You know, it just makes it seem like there's other people singing in there as well. Parallel. 90. Previous voices style. I'm going to go ahead and go back to octaves for now. 90.99. Next voices style. And then. XY pad note. Unchecked. I usually don't touch this. Zero. Width. The width. You can widen the whole vocal image with positive values and narrow it down by bringing this down to a negative value. Creative effects enable. Check. And then from here, we just have the two check boxes that we probably heard on the way back to that voices button earlier. There's a creative effects enable and a voices enable. The creative effects checkbox just disables reverb delay dimension, stuff like that. And the voices disables stuff like the harmony and the backer. So let's go ahead and go back to the backer toggle button. Zero, backer mode toggle. And talk about that for a second. So the backer is something that I would use on backing vocals. It basically changes the characteristic of your vocals to make it seem like there's other people than just yourself. They have different backer targets you can pick from, so this one's Raquel. Next target. The next one is Alex. The next one is Una. And this blend knob just becomes more of how much of Una versus the original singer you want. So if we put this down more around like 40-ish or so. Inverted 89. 47.9. 40, 40, 39.30. 40.99985. So we hear more of our original vocal, but we have a little bit of Una in there as well. These are all the controls that are accessible to us in the assistant view. This is just to get you a good starting point on further customizing your sound. I will definitely make more videos on this. You can get very in depth with these controls. So if we flip to controls for you, for example, we'll see everything available to us there. There's a gate, there's a couple EQs, a couple compressors, a de-esser, reverb and delay, and then your dimension. And we do have the backer, and we also have harmony controls in there as well. So we can go in depth in customizing our sound from this point. So if you want to adjust your compression type, for example, switch it from something like opto to digital, you can do that in the controls as well. For the most up-to-date information, please visit www.isotope.com. Please don't hesitate to reach out and ask any questions if you have any. And as we say, here at Logic Band. Happy recording. Thank you so much for watching.